Hey everybody, this is Susan with Susan Monroe Art, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different kind of video. I'm going to be um, organizing my art room, and so I am standing in the middle of it right now. I'm going to just give it a quick zoom around so you can see what I'm going to have to do, and maybe it'll help you a little bit in organizing your art space. Um, so let me flip. Okay, here we are. This is my art room. Um, and it is also my guest bedroom. All right, so I don't have a great big dedicated art room, but I do have a desk. I've got this cabinet I can keep things in. I've got this cabinet I can keep things in. These beds are great for laying stuff out on and I just clean it up when someone's gonna come by. I've got this little rolling cart that I got from um, Aldi and something i really want to work on today is this closet so this is going to be my main focus i want to do a dollar store redo on this closet and try and get as much stuff as i can out of this space and into this space. You can see it's sort of a funky little space. It's got some shelves. This is a foldable cabinet I put in here. Um, this is a uh, gator board and paper and things like that. This down here is a folder that has a bunch of complete artwork in it. This shelf I could do something with. I have a shelf up here. I have a shelf up here and I've got these hanging hooks right here. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure everything and take a look at all the different things that I want to store so I can have an idea of what I want to get when I go to the dollar store. And here we are at the Dollar Tree. Time to mask up and go in. Okay. It's fall at the Dollar Tree, so we'll look for Anything I can use. I really don't want pumpkins to store things in. I knew this would happen. I now feel totally overwhelmed. So I've seen a lot of people use these things to store stuff inside. Um, it might be good for paintbrushes. I'm going to get a bunch of these little jobbies. These would be great for holding something. I'll figure out what. Now look at these cute little activity trays. What could I do with these? I'm going to think on this. The dollar store always has a ton of great organizing bins and boxes. Now I'm back from Dollar Tree with my hoard of uh, storage things. I probably got too much, but I can take it back and return or exchange it. I am going to paint the inside of my closet with the most boring color name I've ever seen, Accessible Beige. It was in my basement. All right, so now I have painted the sides of the closet, but not the back because I am gonna go all Pinterest back there and put up some stick on wallpaper that I got at Target. So after this dries, that is gonna be my next step. Okay, here's the inside of my closet. Now I have painted it um, and I put my Target wallpaper up just on the back wall. Put the shelves back in later and honestly there wasn't enough wallpaper to do this bottom section i was a little bummed i expected that um matching it would be a little easier the repeat for the wallpaper was pretty far apart so i would have had to get two and i wasn't willing to spend that much money so i think it looks good just like this and I'm just taking a little picture of this cabinet, which I'm cleaning out and putting things in my new closet. And I've taken all the books out. The books are all jumbled up right there. 
I'm doing this basically so after I get this organized, we can see what a mess it was before and hopefully how good it's going to look afterwards. So I found this wire basket. Um, and I think what I'm going to use this for is just to keep all my loose pieces of art in. Things I've done, for example, is on YouTube, projects that I've been working on, just pieces of art that are small that I don't want to hang up, but I, I do want to keep. So, and then I can, it'll be, I'll be able to flip through them when I want to find something. So, oh, baby Yoda. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I found these nice little bins with handles at the dollar store. I think they are going to be good for storing all my glass pieces that I like to use when I paint. I'm tired of having them just all sitting out loose because someone will bump them and they'll all fall over and they can break. And I can then slide these onto one of the shelves in my closet. So these should work out well for that. So now I'm trying to organize all my paint brushes and I got these, I think they were for silverware, silverware holders at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, they don't all three fit in one drawer. So I'm having to split these up. These, these are mostly oil and acrylic brushes, big brushes, little brushes, medium size and odd brushes right here. This would be great for small watercolor brushes, but I realized a watercolor brush like this one, this wash brush, that's not going to be good. So, hello, October. Flip it over. It had this little attachment in it. Pop that off. It ripped off real easily. And I think this, something like that will be nice. It fits in here with these brushes. And I can put some of my longer watercolor brushes in here without worrying about smashing the, the bristles. I just want to be careful about that. And I found these little baskets, two for a dollar. They fit perfectly down inside my drawers. I think that's going to be nice to sort of corral all this junk in here that are various things that I like to use to paint. Sorts of little old toys, marbles, Monopoly pieces, anchovy cans, feathers, anything that I think I might want to use in a painting. And I believe I'll be able to fit two of these in each, in the drawer, which will be great. And I maybe can separate things by size or by color or however I want. So yay. All right, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. I put this shelf back here and the shelf that was over against this wall in here, the paper of this shelf. And then I can put all my watercolor papers over here. Um, I'm in my large things that always fall down that have been behind the door can go there and be held up by this shelf. I'm not 100% committed to this arrangement because I think it's a little cramped, but it might work. So I'll keep trying. All right, I have set up my closet. I will show you that in a second, but my finishing piece is going to be organizing my watercolors. And I got the idea of arranging them on a board or um, I'm using a, a canvas, a spare canvas I just had. Um, I got the idea of this from Dr. Odo Kono. So I'm going to link to her website so you can see where the original idea came from. But she thought of measuring across a board and then hanging your watercolors from uh, little clips, binder clips, with command hooks. Uh, this requires math if you're going to fit them all in there which i stink at i'm so bad at math so i just went ahead and laid out my watercolors um and then measured and it came out to an inch and a half apart i think i'm just going to eyeball the distance between them and uh, the thing that was throwing me was i have some of these bigger tubes like this some tiny tubes I just wanted to make sure I have room to put the big tubes, but it works well if I put them on the bottom um, where there's a little extra room. So I'm going to now 
measure this out, draw a straight line every one and a half inch. I'm gonna put a little mark and then I'll apply my command hooks and add binder clips and I should be able to hang my watercolors from this and put this on the wall in my closet. Um, and I'll have easy access to my watercolors. And I'll be able to see what colors I need, what colors I don't. Um, and some of you might wonder, well, you won't have much room to add new colors. Well, honestly, I don't plan on adding many new colors. If I do add a new color, I'll probably take away an, an old color. I just, I just don't feel like I need a zillion and one watercolors. Or, you know, if I did get more, I could always make another board. So um, I'm going to get to work on it. Wish me luck. Okay, in real life, that only took me about 10 minutes to um, take all these tabs off and put them on the back of my command hooks. I was wanted to give you just a couple tips, things that I realized while I was doing this. First, what type of command hooks? I got the, um, it says decorating clips. So these are really tiny ones, if you can see. I got the clear ones, but you could also get white. Uh, there are 40 clips, but 48 backs. Thank you, command people. Thank you, 3M, because, of course, I stuck some on wrong, and I wanted them all to be right. So um, I was a, had a couple extra to fix that with. Something that you want to think about when you're putting the adhesive on is, if you're like me and sort of OCD, I wanted all my little clear, can you see these little tabs? This little tab that if I want to take them off, sticks out from the hook. I wanted all these little tabs to be going the same direction. Whoops, upside down. So I had to make sure the hook was right side up and I was putting the tab to the right every time. Otherwise I would have ended up with some tabs on the left, some tabs on the right, and that would have made me a little crazy. I think that that, that is it and I'm ready to stick my command hooks to the to the canvas. I already tried with one to be sure that it really works and it does really work. So here I go. Y'all, it is a miracle. I had 40 clips in that box and exactly what I needed. So I stuck them all on. Um, something you want to be careful of is make sure you put the clips right side up because I almost stuck them on upside down a couple times. Now my next thing to do is decide how I want to organize my colors. I mean, my excuse me, my paints. Do I want to organize them by color, by brand? Um, by size, because I've got teeny, medium size, and big. Um, I think I'm going to do them by color. And the great thing about this is, with this system, look, I can, please hang on there. Look, I can hang it on there. I can rearrange whenever I want. It's going to be super easy. Uh, I can put two tubes in one clip if I have to. And I, I just can't wait to get going on this. So I'm going to start organizing. Okay, so here we are. They go on and off real easily. Now the test, I'm gonna set it up and let's see if they all fall off. Please don't. Oh, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put this in my closet and then I think we can do a little tour of my newly organized art space. Here is just a little overview, and I'll go through and show everybody 
all the interesting things I did, but you can see it's a lot cleaner than it was. So if you remember this cabinet here, um, it was just chock full of junk. All right, and now it has a lot more room in it. Since I got rid of some things, I've got spare little uh, camera up here. This is a hammer and hardware type things that I sometimes need. Down here, I have just all sorts of bulky items. Um, I put all my jars of different gels and wax and things here, and I put them on their side because it's easier to see than having them sitting upright. Here is uh, paint rollers, polishing cloth, sandpaper, um, my claws that I use sometimes, my fixative. I, this is not particularly organized within each tub, but it's better than just having it all in a pile down at the bottom anymore. Then at the top, I cleaned this off and I was able to and keep my paper towels up here and uh, put my paper cutter here now, which would be great. Make things a lot easier when I'm cutting paper. Here's a little tour of my cart that I got from Aldi. I've got Mr. Spock holding just the brushes that I use and my scissors. I think I might get another container for the scissors because that's a little junky in there. As I'm painting and I use different brushes, I like to set them in here, or if I'm using masking fluid or something, it all goes in here, anything I'm using for a current painting. Then I put up here on my office supplies. Here I've got my clips, paper clips, pencil sharpeners, staples, framing supplies, all in things that I got from the dollar store. And over here I have reading glasses and erasers. I didn't realize how many paintbrushes I had until I started organizing them. These are sort of medium sized paintbrushes that would go with acrylics or oils. These are my big paintbrushes, little paintbrushes, some more medium sized paintbrushes. These are more watercolor, watercolor brushes in this long, long little box. And down here I have small brushes, makeup brushes that I use sometimes when I paint, larger brushes, especially brushes, and more small to medium brushes in the back. Let's see this in here on oh, my tape and glues, sticky things basically in that one. This was the one that held my paints. These are gouache and some paints I don't really use and some little tubs that I have pre-made. I need to figure out what to do with this space. I'm not sure yet. This is drawing supplies, a big ruler that doesn't fit well in the other drawers. My pouch with all my drawing things in it. Travel products for watercolors, travel palette, uh, another cool travel palette, pens. Pens that have no real place. They're nothing special about them. They're just pens that I use. All the extra doodads that I sometimes want to paint fit in this back here. And these two little tubs from the Dollar Store just fit beautifully. This is inks, uh, and various masking fluids, soap that I use for masking fluid. And then behind it, I've got cords and um, computer cords. Now for my piece de resistance, my closet. So I've wallpapered back, repainted using the uh, color with the most boring name in the world. What was it? Friendly beige, amicable beige, boring beige. I put all my uh, small paintings up here in this wire shelf. Some acrylic paints that I use sometimes up here. Things that I don't use very often go up here. Boxes, this one has oil paints. One just has random stuff in it. My Howard Finster elephant. On this shelf, I was able to put shipping things. So when I ship a, a painting to somebody, I typically put it in a Mylar envelope. I have different sizes. I also will put it between pieces of foam core. So I was able to organize my foam core in these little paper holders from the Dollar Tree. Uh, bubble wrap, and then down here are little boxes that I like to organize things in or sometimes like to use in paintings. 
down here are my it's my little collection of glassware that I like to paint with and my sponges I don't use them very often more little cool treasures that I like to paint and here we have a lot more shipping stuff I use this little jobby from the the dollar store I've got my washi tape in it you can see it was one of these oh pumpkin spice isn't that sweet this I really like I have everything I need if I'm going to ship a painting other than the mylar sheet and the foam core in it. I can just take it over. Usually I do that, uh, getting things ready to ship on the bed. I've got my tape. I shut my foam core, seal it up with washi tape because it's cute. My little stickers I put on here. I always put in a thank you note and business cards. So I can just pick that up and take it over to wherever I'm packaging stuff to go out. And then, this is my favorite. I have all my pens in these cute, cute little buckets. Um, colored pencils, watercolor pencils. Down here, I have paintings that I've completed all in this container. This is my light board gator board for painting big things that were just leaning up against the back over here before and then paper all sorts of papers right here and my art books sketch sketchbooks coloring books everything like that um so i really feel like i've, I've made a pretty good use of this space and i'm super happy with it so i hope this video Gives you some ideas of ways you can organize your own art supplies. If you're lucky enough to have like a whole closet you can use, um, you might find some fun ideas to do that. Or if you have a spare room that you're using, or um, you know, when I had kids and didn't have a room, I just had a tray, a couple of trays that I kept my stuff on and I could store up wherever I wanted out of the way. So, you know, just find a way to put your things together and keep on painting no matter what. And uh, if you like this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.